Michael Novogratz, principal of Fortress Investment Group, is the consummate macro hedge fund manager, searching for global opportunities across all asset classes. Novogratz, CIO of two Fortress macro funds, sees the benign environment of the past year coming to an end, and that's good in his corner of the world. Novogratz ponders uncertainty in the Chinese real estate markets, as well as how central banks may be going in different directions. I do think the macro opportunity set is going to get better. We're going to finish tapering in October, and then the next move is a, is a rate hike. And uh, depending on growth, uh, depending on inflation, you'll finally see uh, central bank get back into action. In Europe, uh, the ECB is entering uh, a phase of more easing. You know, will they do quantitative easing or not is a big question, or will they hold it out like the carrot uh, that Draghi so famously has has done well with OMT. Um, uh, my sense is if, if things really deteriorate, they'll have to do QE. At the same time that the U.S. is exiting, uh, and Japan is probably in neutral. And so all the three big central banks of the world, uh, of the developed world, um, may be going in opposite directions. China is still a big uncertain. In some ways, everybody who visits knows there's a real estate bubble that needs to get deflated. The Chinese officials 100% get that. Uh, and so the real debate is, can they orchestrate this deflating of a real estate bubble at the same time you're shifting your economy from a, uh, a capex export-led uh, economy to a consumer-based economy? They've got a very strong leader uh, and, you know, a good core of bureaucrats. And so that's the big debate. I, I fear China for the next four years will hang over us like Democles' sword that even if they pull off decent growth, the market will be worried the whole time that they're trying to deflate this bubble of monumental proportion. We've never seen a real estate bubble quite like what's gone on in China. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to make investing more difficult. Getting a good China call, even on the cyclical side, is difficult in, in, the, in, its, in the best days. And when you have this structural overhang there, uh, that part, I think, becomes, becomes challenging. The trade that, work, that has worked uh, in the last few years has been shorting volatility. Uh, credit spreads coming in and in and in is a form of short volatility. Uh, actually, the VIX going lower and lower and lower. Uh, carry trades. If you believe in secular stagnation, if you believe in the story that Bill Gross is pitching, uh, if you believe in what the Fed believes, this could go on for a long period of time. It makes investing far, far harder for leveraged macro funds. Why? Because as volatility comes lower and lower and lower, you're forced to take more and more notional risk. And all of a sudden you have these episodic scares, and you're like, oh, is this real or not? Uh, and I've got big, big notional positions. And so I think the overall environment is a little more dangerous right now. If the secular stagnation story proves not to be true, uh, downstairs Stan Druckenmiller gave a a uh, large presentation saying the Fed's behind the curve. And if he's right, if the Fed needs to start raising rates more aggressively, then you're going to see asset prices adjust. And we'll go into a, a multi-year regime where you, it's, it's actually more fun as a macro investor and there, there's a, a richer opportunity set.